This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of U.S. Gold Mining, Mr. Tim Smith. Tim, how are you today, sir? It's great to have you back on. I'm excellent. Thank you very much, Gerardo, for, for having me back on the show uh, again and, and delighted to have the opportunity to be able to provide an update to your viewers. Well, let's get right into it. You just announced the commencement of the company's 2023 phase one drilling program at the 100% owned Whistler Gold Copper Project, two metals that I am very, very bullish on. And I just, I, I wanted to touch on the gold price action because I think that we've gotten so accustomed to gold flirting with 2000, but not quite being able to break through that a lot of speculators and even the most ardent gold bugs fail to recognize that with the dollar index near 104, it's really impressive to me that gold is holding that 1900 level. I suspect that Q4 is going to be very, very kind to the gold price. And I think 2024 is going to be an excellent, excellent year as far as the price action goes which bodes well for this announcement that you just started, um, you know, this 10,000 meter drill program, which is what the objective is overall at Whistler. Can we speak to the program? And I'd love your thoughts on the gold space if you have some. Yeah, absolutely. So just on the program, you know, I, as we spoke about last time, just after we uh, completed our highly successful IPO, you know, we noted that that was great timing uh, because gold was doing really well. We were sitting uh, uh, around 2000 then. Now, we have drifted off a little bit, but I think uh, longer term, the fundamentals are still extremely strong for gold uh, as, as a, ha a safe haven, as a store of value. Uh, you know, we see it across uh, uh, resources and reserves amongst the majors uh, are depleting uh, so that that supply side is, is starting to, to dry up. Uh, we see the demand coming in with the buying from the central banks. Uh, so there's some really key fundamentals there that we think is going to support in the medium to longer term, a, a very strong gold press. And, uh, you know, to, to speak about what we've been doing since the IPO, uh, uh, you know, we've been very busy uh, essentially getting our field teams and our contractors mobilized into the field at Whistler, uh, which uh, is located just 100 miles northwest of Anchorage. It's, it's the nearest large undeveloped gold copper deposit to the main city of Anchorage in Alaska. And since the start of the summer field season, and we, we kicked off around the end of May, uh, we've been dusting off our existing camp uh, at Whistler, basically renovating and preparing that camp as a base for exploration programs over the coming years uh, so that we can operate out of there in all seasons, not just summer, but through the fall and winter as well. And as you touched on, our big news this week is we've now started that drilling at Whistler. So we're very excited about that. This is the first drilling that Whistler, uh, the Whistler project or the Whistler deposit itself has seen since 2011 on the property. And, you know, we're utilizing some new knowledge, uh, some new interpretations, the experience of a new technical team. Uh, and so we're aiming uh, to, to advance and improve the geologic model, which we think is going to lead to uh, to a more robust and higher confidence mineral resource estimate in the months to come. Uh, and we're also endeavoring to expand the existing resources. Uh, so we're probing at the edges of the mineral system where we think it's open a long strike uh, and also down to depth. Uh, in other words, testing for extensions of the known mineral systems uh, and to ensure that we know what the geological controls, especially on the high-grade mineralization. Uh, we see a core of high-grade mineralization in the middle of each of the deposits that make up the Whistler. So the Whistler deposit, the rain tree deposit, and the island mountain, they, they all have this core of high-grade, and that's typical of porphyry deposits. We want to grow that high-grade core. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about uh, at Whistler itself, for example, there's 2 million uh, gold equivalent ounces at a gram within the core of Whistler in the indicated alone, and another 1.4 million ounces at, at 0.84 grams per ton. Uh, that's just the Whistler deposit alone. When you combine that with Rain Tree uh, and uh, an Island Mountain, you get a total of 2.2 uh, uh, million ounces at a gram in the indicated, and another 3.8 million gold equivalent ounces at 0.93 grams per ton uh, in the inferred. So in addition to the lower grade, uh, you know, we really want to understand what the geologic controls on, on the high grade are and how we can better delineate that and expand that within our existing mineral resources. 
Well, there's already, as you mentioned, a substantial resource there. I love that you're testing um, exploration targets for, for, you know, potentially additional gold, copper, porphyry mineral deposits. I think, you know, we talked about gold, but I am as bullish in the midterm um, on copper as I am, you know, almost any metal out in the space. And so I think it's going to be a fun couple of cycles as it relates to copper and price appreciation on that front. Tim, anything else to add to that? I know that the initial program is 5,000 meters. You're fully funded for a 10,000 meter drill program. And the way that I understand it, you're supposed to complete that in Q4 of this year. Is that is that is that correct? Yeah, we're going to complete phase one this year, and then we'll make a determination whether we proceed directly to phase two or whether we defer until uh, uh, next year to do that. So that really will depend on the production rates and what we're seeing coming out of the ground. And, you know, what I did want to add that in addition to to testing the existing uh, uh, mineral resources and really probing uh, how big and and how how, how high quality and and how how high confidence we can make those, uh, we're also really excited uh, uh, about uh, testing the potential for brand new discoveries. Um, we see the Whistler Rain Tree Mineral System and again the Island Mountain System uh, as, as being two uh, large porphyry clusters uh, and there are already some additional known porphyry intrusions in close proximity to existing mineralization. So if we can identify uh, copper and gold mineralization associated with those intrusions and then define resources at those targets, well, we're talking about new discoveries. So new discoveries uh, uh, you know, in the porphyry space tend to be big. Uh, so that's in addition to, to, to advancing uh, uh, the quality of, of the existing uh, resource assets that we have in the ground. So uh, potentially, uh, you know, if we can make some new discoveries and we want to put around about 50% of our overall effort and, and budget and meters in the drilling uh, to testing some of those new discoveries. So, so you know, we're, we're excited about the possibility of perhaps announcing uh, some new discoveries later this year or, or perhaps next year. Uh, you know, we'll see how we go. We've, we've got a great model. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, some, some new ideas, some new uh, methodologies and techniques and modeling the geophysics that are really helping us visualize these exciting targets. And uh, it's just a matter of systematically prioritizing and working our way through through uh, drill testing uh, uh, some of those targets. So very exciting uh, times for us, uh, you know, brand new company and, and our, our maiden uh, or uh, inaugural uh, drilling program at, uh, at Whistler underway now. Well, I know you and the company will be at the Beaver Creek Precious Metal Summit, as will we. Looking forward to catching up in person. Tim, always a pleasure, sir. Thank you for your time. Wonderful. I look forward to that. Thank you, Gerardo. Cheers. Hey, everybody. Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.